Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ED69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, before we get into today's video, if you want to get the January Battle Pass for 50% off, download the Huawei App Gallery now. When you download the Huawei App Gallery, make sure you set your country to UK, Ireland, New Zealand, or Australia before um, going any further. It doesn't matter what country you're from, as long as you set your country to one of those, you will be available to get this discount for the Battle Pass. Yes, the January Battle Pass is probably one of the best Battle Passes that Wargaming have done, and you can get it for just 50% off. Now, don't forget, there is two Battle Passes you can get. This 50% discount only applies for the cheapest one. So download the Huawei app gallery now the links are in the description if you need any help head over to their discord server which the link will be in the description and there will be someone there to help you once you've downloaded the Huawei app gallery, you can go over to this coupon page. All you have to do is scroll down and click claim uh, to claim the coupon. Once you open the game and make a purchase, the coupon will automatically be applied. So claim the coupon now and get the discount. It is as simple as that. And honestly, guys, this is probably one of the best battle pass uh, you can get. The tank is crazy. Back to the video. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Z69. Welcome back to the channel. And the January Battle Pass tank is probably one of the most stupidest Battle Pass tanks Wargaming have released. It is the Cryos. I think that's what it uh, pronounces. It's basically a Yag Panther IV, but made better. So what they've basically done is taken one of the best Tier Six tanks and made it better yes they have uh survivor the the camouflage is called survivor because it is good at surviving so let's take a quick look now the armor 120 millimeters on the front that is more than double the Yag Panzer 4 yes more than double you'd think okay with the armor maybe maybe it loses things obviously the Yag Panzer 4 is known for having fantastic DPM, but almost 3,000 DPM this has got. The pretty much the exact same as the Jagdpanzer IV. Reload time is 4.4 seconds. Penetration 175, APCR is 225, so very good penetration. And your HE is 44, and it does 220 alpha on your AP, 190 on your APCR, and 270 on your HE. Aim time is, is all right at 3.1 dispersion again not too bad but not the best at 0.326 and if the armor wasn't enough they decide to give it an extra three degrees of gun depression yes the Jag Panzer 4 has five this has eight and more armor what were wargaming smoking when they uh when they made this tank i do not know so when i was looking at the stats i thought you know what maybe it's not as good as it seems but yeah i was um I was wrong. This tank, by far, is the best Battle Pass tank that Wargaming have released. And you can just see the stats here. I mean, it's it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Um, obviously, we're not running double chocolate on this. So if we just give it the double chocolate, then it will have the extra, the little bit of extra DPM. And it goes to pretty much the same as the uh, Cryos there. Um, armor, 86. I mean, you're looking at 100, so almost double. Almost double the armor profile of that. And when I was playing this tank, I had two battles in the Cryos. Just two battles. One, I just YOLO'd. And people messaged me saying, dude, that armor profile. And I'm like, what, is it good? Like, it, I didn't realize that it, it can actually be so good. Especially if you're using the gun depression with that. The 8 degrees of gun depression. Um... Yeah, the speed's pretty much uh, the same, and pretty much it's uh, it's a better tank. It's just literally the Jagdpanzer IV has been changed quite a few times over the last few years, but it still remains one of the best tier six tanks in the game uh, by far because of that raw DPM that it's got. I mean, three thousand DPM in a tier six tank, and Wargaming have just took that 
and made it even better by giving it the 3000 dpm but also giving it the eight degrees of gun depression and 120 millimeters of frontal armor um yes that's not a lot but you know when you're using the eight degrees of gun depression when you're up against tier fives that is a lot and this is our second game and this this battle here will just show you how strong this tank is so we're going to push to the right side i love the look of it it is the survivor the cryos survivor it is a legendary camouflage uh, camouflage that you need to get with it um you uh it looks pretty good it does look pretty good i'd prefer it if the that turn that cog there that's turning would only turn if you're sort of moving uh, but that's just for that's just constant turning throughout the the time that you're driving it that is just spinning around and around now i would like to said i think it would be better if it only spun around when you're moving your tank uh, but it is what it is it still looks uh, pretty weird uh, but it looks decent it looks decent so we're going to try out our dpm now we're going to push towards this titan and of course we're going to try out our armor profile as well so we're going to push forward down the titan is coming around and just watch his hit points vanish his hit points are going to vanish we're going to get a bounce there our first bounce there's another 200 damage we're going to get i mean every 3.7 seconds when you're using adrenaline 3.7 seconds and look at that gone see you later mate and there's our first kill next tank vk30 he goes for the uh, that guy there the stug and just watch our dpm is absolutely insane we are just bullying him we're getting bounces we've bounced almost 400 damage so far the traverse isn't good especially if you're in the water and yet again another bounce so we are yet to lose a single hit point and we have taken two tanks out now the only tank to penetrate us is the arl but the arl is one of the strongest tier six tanks in the game but it's got armor and it's got penetration the arl and we can still penetrate it nice and easy 2200 damage done in two minutes in a tier six tank and there is still it's a four versus five so i don't want to just come out and lose hit points against this guy i'm trying to bait him and as you see there we get ourselves yet again another bounce and we're just going to switch to the apcr there because we don't want to bounce him we don't want to lose hit points and we just wanted to make sure we get the kill so that is now three kills to me and 2300 damage now i am backing up here only because i don't really want to turn around in case all three of these guys come up behind me now i am a bit worried about the uh, the cap points and that is the su 100 wide but luckily our chi2 goes to yolo in uh, he does get wrecked but he is going to get the uh, the shot in on the su to to pretty much reset the cap which gives me more time so we're going to come around this corner we do find the 40 tp who's not in the best of positions he can't really get his gun out and uh, we're just going to wreck him we're just going to absolutely tear him apart and that is now four kills so it's now a two versus three two tanks there and we know that the t14 is over here so you know what the time i do have time on the cap they're, they're only on 20 there's only one cap uh, one tank capping so i have plenty of time to try and clear this guy and the reason i do this i've done this and not go for the cap is because if i went for the tank if i went for the cap there is two tanks there and this guy was on his own isolated so this is why i went this way to try and get rid of this t14 before going towards the cap so look at that blind shot not a blind shot that that nice shot there and we get another nice shot for our fifth kill and now i think it is time to start going towards the cap now this doesn't feel this does feel a bit more sluggish than the yag panzer 4 um but you know it's it, you're getting the armor profile you're getting the dpm you can't really complain that the uh, the speed and you're getting this for five freaking dollars five dollars you're getting the tank for free basically because you, you you're going to spend the five dollars on other things the gold the free xp the boosters everything like that um so you're basically getting the tank for free so we're on 3.3k damage six kills and now just this su 100 y left to go now we don't want to risk it uh but we do risk it we're trying to bait a shot here and to be honest we get lucky we do get lucky he leaves us on just 50 hp but we get the kill and this battle just goes to show how good this tank is the raw dpm almost four thousand damage seven kills seventy thousand credits earned uh, which isn't a lot to be honest 
um, considering we uh, how much damage and the kills and stuff we've got. But 1300 base XP in a tier 6 tank. So I would strongly recommend buying this month's battle pass. Of course, it is only $5.00. It's five freaking dollars. And now you're getting one of the best tier six tanks in the game made even better. If you've played the tank, if you've now got the tank and you've played it and you, you your opinion is the same as mine, it's broken or it's OP. I personally think it is OP. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Meaty. I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.